Hey guys, welcome back. So today's topic is about overflow. So capacity or a range of beds decides overflow. So capacity and a range of bed. Suppose our beds are three beds and they are unsigned. So that means the range is zero to seven. So if it's four beds, the range is from zero to 15. So n bed is zero to n to power n minus one, okay? I hope you know this, okay? So this is for uh, signed bed. Uh, unsigned bit. So if if we are want to represent eight in three bits, then that's an overflow. If we want to represent seventeen in four, that's an then that's an overflow. Okay. Now coming to sine magnitude form, um, that means if a sine number in two's complement form, not in the sine magnitude, in two's complement form, the range is from two power n minus one minus two, two power n minus one. Minus one. So this is the range of two's complement form. So if we want a four bit number, the range is minus eight to seven. Okay, the range of two's complement is minus eight to seven. I hope you understand that. Let's go for how an overflow will occur, and you can simply solve this and say whether it's overflow or not. So I'm gonna add this two's complement numbers. These are two's complement numbers. So before adding this, I want you to divide. Uh, with a single line MSB and MSB minus 1 so whatever carry we are gonna get from MSB minus 1 write it as C in okay whatever carry we are gonna get from MSB write it as C out don't forget it okay we are not gonna we are go just gonna store this values in them so that we can compare the results so now add this 1 1 0 carry will be 1 so it is 1 so it is again 0 and 0 so here there's no carry so ca uh, so c in equals to 0 and c out equals to 0 so as you can see when both c in and c out are equal then there's no overflow as you can see that when c in and c out are not equal then there's no overflow that's a simple technique when c in c out equals to c in then there's not overflow remind us I'm going to t give you an example once again to know uh, what's the condition for overflow. So let's take this an example. Now I want you to do divide the line again MSB and MSB minus 1. Now let's add it 0, 0. So what is 1, 1? So C in equals to 1 over here as you can see a 1 is being carried out. So 1 is being carried out and answer is 1, 0, 0, 0. And C out is 0. Nothing is being carried out from here. So not nothing we are getting so C out equals to 0. So as you can see over here C out is not equals to C in. C out is not equals to C in. So this is plus 4 and this is plus 4 in 2's complement form and this is 8 actually 8 but 2's complement form for 4 bits range is minus 8 to 7. I said the range is minus 8 to 7 you know the formula substitute it. But 8 is not possible in 2's complement 4 bits so it results in an overflow so condition for over, overflow is C out not equals to C in so these are the two conditions for overflow and not overflow so C in XOR with C out if it's 1 then it's an overflow for don't forget it C in XOR C out equals to 1 then it's an overflow C in XOR C out not equal, equal to 0 then it's not overflow I hope these are the two conditions you need to remember don't forget these two conditions if you forget you are gone so don't forget these two conditions and if you don't forget it you can solve within seconds okay I hope you understand about the concept of overflow the range is most important then check C in and C out okay this is most important uh, if you like this video please do hit that subscribe button that will help me a lot to produce more techniques for you um, produce more videos for you and thanks for watching please do subscribe don't forget thanks for watching